So uh, in, the, in the last video we were looking at uh, ale as a subject form and looking at the, the different combinations and the rules and the rule that is um, involved with that and before that we're looking at two right so um, so just to recap uh, two would be I mean the, 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 the pattern or the rule associated with two or, or you familiar is that it is subject so you, I mean you conjugate with dropping the ending and add an as or an es so if the verb is an ar verb add as if it's an er verb or an ir verb add an es right so like up applies com comes and uh, bbs and yesterday we looked at l so L, you drop the ending and add either an A or E. The, the verb is an A verb and an A E R verb E. So L habla, L come, L vive. Right. So today we're looking at E, which means she, and the and the rule appears to be uh, similar so you drop the ending and then you add an A or an E if it is either so if it's an AI verb you add an A if it's an ER verb you add or an IR verb you add an E so we have looked at three so far so we looked at two L and E and we might be encountering a few more and it's it's quite important to um you know understand or remember what the rules are for each of those forms so uh so for two you would add either as or es for l and yeah, you would add either an A or an E. So I think in these cases, it's, it's imperative to remember the uh, combination in the sense like two hablas, right? So if you just remember that, you know that you have you know for a fact that as is associated with ar verbs and because you remember as you would know the opposite would be es or the other thing would be es right so uh, because sometimes either an a or e and el el habla ia ia habla so uh, that would be a way to remember it um, in the next uh, in the next video we'll be uh, looking at vosotros which means you all and uh, and particularly in Spain because uh, ustedes which you saw in the last section was in Latin America so we'll be looking at it in the next video so until then see you next time